What's going on, y'all? We got another WWE video. Uh, this is wrestlers that we've seen on TV um, when they were fans. So, like, this was when, before they became WWE superstars, basically. Um, only one I can really think of is Edge, because I remember, well, I wasn't even born yet, but of course, when I started following wrestling, and yes, I say wrestling, whatever. Don't judge me, y'all. Some of y'all say words wrong too, or with an accent or whatever. <clears throat> but um, when I started following wrestling, um, Edge is my favorite wrestler of all time. For those of y'all who don't know, and I remember he, like he was saying how he was at WrestleMania. I forgot which one it was. I don't know if it was WrestleMania five. I know he saw Hulk Hogan, and you can see Edge in the audience. So I know Edge is on here. Other than that, I don't really know. So I'm curious to see who's on this list. So let's check it out. Growing up, going to oh. WrestleMania 6, yes, there we go. The Six. and feeling the electricity that was in that building that day, it was tangible. Wow. Just like you, a lot of favorite fun wrestlers started out as fans. In some cases, <laughs> seen of course you got to post their Trish Stratus. Hey, Trish Stratus? That would happen on August 30th, yeah. 2010. When we're all celebrating its 900th episode, the current faces of the division at the time, Lakeville, were in the ring. Oh, wow. Well, for six years after buying a ticket to watch Raw, Banks returned to that same arena as a WWE wrestler. That's dope. A 2002 SummerSlam was historic for a lot of reasons. Brock Lesnar became the youngest WWE champion at the time, and Shawn Michaels made his in-ring return after retiring over four years earlier. The latter of which seemed to be a big selling point for one future WWE star. Since the event was both held in his home state of New York, it only made sense that a Long Island loud belt, Zack Ryder, attended the show. The young Broski was near the front row and proudly displayed a sign that said, HBK. Zack Ryder, that's dope. Chandler took note of this and got his revenge years later. Of course. Of course he gets paid for one funny thing is, Ryder keeps trying to show a sign, but the camera always cuts away from him. That really didn't work for them. They're the best thing about giving Zack Ryder TV time. Extra Rules 2014 felt kind of like a passing of the torch. The show was triumphant over the veteran faction, Evolution, Page made a pay per view debut and won, and Daniel Bryan successfully defended the WWE Championship against Kane. The show also indirectly featured one of WWE's future performers. Sitting in front row at Extreme Rules was a 19 year old little Morgan. She was so close to the action, in fact, that the only way to get even closer was to step inside the ring. Wow. Which had long after. Only a few months after enjoying the WWE show, Morgan was signed to a contract in October 2014. Then, about three and a half years later, Lord Morgan made her debut on the main roster. Man, this is Casting so cool, man. Casting Death Row Chosen Six was memorable for a lot of reasons. Well, this really isn't one of those reasons. The event is made just a little bit cooler because of who we saw in the crowd. Watching the show from the balcony was a clean shaven Kevin Owens. The young KO nice. was supporting the man behind SCW, Paul Heyman. As the legend goes, Kevin Owens' girlfriend at the time made Owens choose between her or attending one night stand. Looks like we know which choice Owens made. After suffering two consecutive defeats, the day went to get his revenge on Shelton Benjamin in San Jose, California. The match ended in a no contest when Shawn Michaels came out and attacked Triple H. One of the fans who got to enjoy it was a young Bailey. The 14-year-old was sitting in the front row and kind of watched her future boss get the crap thing out of them. That's but so now, dope. Over a decade later, Bailey would be in a She'd take pictures and everything. her first championship awarded to her by Triple H. Back in 1995, Ron wasn't always live. That would be with you one live broadcast and then take two additional episodes from the same venue. Hey, times were tough. So guess which future WWE star got to be in the front row on Raw for three weeks in a row? It's none other than Louis Villeneuve, Eugene. About nine years before he officially debuted, Vance saw Eugene enjoying Raw from behind wow. the curtain. Funny enough, he got the tickets by winning a hard-boiled egg hunting contest. In 2005, Raw aired live from oh. Montreal, Quebec, Canada. The arena was filled with fans, and surprisingly, the cameras managed to focus on one of them, who would later become a WWE star. During John Cena's entrance, one of the WWE camera operators focused on a woman in the audience. 
It turned out to oh, be Maurice. Maurice. Crazy yep. enough, about a year after appearing on TV as a fan, Maurice was selected as one of the eight contestants on a diva search. What's even crazy? Yeah, she married to my guy, the Miz. Watching John Cena from the stands, Maurice would compete against Cena at WrestleMania. Maurice decided to work hard and earn a contract in order to get in the ring with Cena, but not all women do that. Watch the video on the left to see female fans who jumped the barricade and got in the ring. Shout out and thank you to Alvin Tom Abbey for watching this channel for five years. Thank you so much. Until next time, I'm Zach from Tap Out Corner, and take it easy. Man, this was pretty cool. Just, just seeing uh, <clears throat> all of these people there. Like I said, I knew about Edge already, but you know what's funny about Eugene? Um, apparently Eugene was like a very, 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 very good wrestler and great in ring performer, and you know the WWE kind of ruined it by giving him the Eugene gimmick. Now, granted, he he. He did the best he could with being Eugene, but we didn't really get to see his real name's Nick Densmore, but we really didn't get to see how good he was in the ring because you know they had him as Eugene. So y'all know who Eugene is, please go go look. Um he got over though, he was popular for sure. That's what he was very popular. Um so in a way, he kind of got over with the fans. But on the flip side to that, we didn't get to see how great he was in the ring. Um, but which one was y'all most shocked about? Let me know what y'all think of the video. If y'all want me to react to any other wrestling videos, let me know. Like the video. Show me some love and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, peace out, y'all.